Hi everyone, this is Michael Una, and I'm here to talk about the Secit Analog Sequencer Synthesizer. This is a uh, brand new device for Unatronics, and I'm going to talk through the basic features here. Uh, so, number one, this is how you turn it on. And as you can see, it has a rotating sequence that goes around in a circle. Uh, it just keeps doing that forever, basically. Uh, up here is the tempo. We're going to slow that down. So we can talk about the rest of the features. So, each step around the circle has a knob attached to it. When it be light is next to that knob, that knob controls the pitch of the sound, like so. And in, in that same way, you can set the pitch for every step of the sequence. So you can certainly go around playing it like that. Um, but what I like to do is kind of set a nice sequence and then turn the tempo up and give it some juice. Alright, so we got a good sequence going. So, for each step, to the right makes it higher pitched, to the left makes it lower pitched. You can also click that step off and it will skip that sound when the sequence comes around. And in doing so you can create a rhythm of, uh, of these different pitches. starting to sound like music, right? Alright, so a couple other things here, and I'm going to slow down the tempo again. I'll turn some of these other steps back on. Alright, so one uh, easy one here in the other corner is a low-pass filter. Right now it's kind of low. This changes the shape of the wave from a, a pure triangle, which has much more mellow sound. Uh, and as you turn it in, it dials up the square wave. much more of a crunchy, buzzing sound. Uh, over in this corner is a low-frequency oscillator, LFO. And as we dial that in, and slow down the tempo so we can hear it, it adds a uh, step on each of the steps. Uh, it's going to modulate the sound in, in, uh, in sync with the tempo. Excuse me. So now we can start to hear for step of the sequence, there are two distinct tones, and that effect becomes more pronounced the more you dial in. the shape of the LFO from a square wave to a, uh, closer to a sawtooth wave. Yeah, because of that sort of wobbly, sliding kind of sound. So those are the basic controls. Uh, now I'm just going to sort of play around and make some different sounds.
So that's basically it. Uh, and that's going to be it for now. I'm going to follow up with a series of videos uh, showing more advanced functions and uh, synchronization. Uh, but you get the idea. Thanks for watching.